Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, I did something like this a couple of years ago back when I was uh, saving for Quetz. And I showed the process of how I was going to save a whole bunch of everything for her and for the coming day, so I decided to do the same thing this year, but this time for a very different unit. I'm going to be showing the saving process for Castoria. <coughs> So as the video is titled, this is Operation Saving for Castoria. I hope you liked the video. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me who you are specifically saving. I assume everyone's saving for Castoria, but everyone saves in their own special ways, and some people just skip over all of that. So there's two things here. Let me show the Word document. Boom. So here are my current savings. 70 sync quartz to my name, along with nine tickets. How much do I need to guarantee one copy of um, Castoria? Uh, because I play in, in North America and not in Japan, <laughs> no amount is enough. No matter how much I save, there is no guarantee that I will get Castoria, so this could very well end in disaster. Not only that, right after Castoria is summer, so it's real bad looking overall if I do not get them in the amount of quartz that, and tickets I have here. But that's not enough, so let's go over specifically, I've basically mapped how much I personally will get. It might be different for other people because it, some things kind of vary and change depending on um, when your 50 day was last and stuff like that, but here's mine. So don't don't take the math as the gods pull, just take it as stuff for me. I factored me into this, not everyone else. So <clears throat> months until anniversary, assuming anniversary will be on July 3rd. I have 163 days until anniversary, and that is from when I made this, which was a couple days ago, I think. Um, I get 30 quarts per 50-day login, so 90 uh, SQ, because in 150 days, I will get 90 SQ, <laughs> uh, same quarts. From the monthly tickets for six months, uh, five for a month, that's 30 tickets from the shop. So that takes care of that. Next, we have login stuff. If you get one ticket for every seven days and 163 days, I'll get 23 tickets for 161 days. I get 21 fragments every uh, week. Uh, seven, frag <laughs> seven fragments equals one, is uh, one sink quartz. Then in 163 days, I will have 69 sink quartz. If my math is correct on this, sometimes I can be a little bit wrong. In the week, for the second day, gives you one. So in the specific um, login stuff, you get on your second day, one sink quartz. On your fourth day, one sink quartz. On the sixth day, two sink quartz. So at 161 days, it would be 23 sink quartz for the second day, 23 sink quartz for the fourth day, 46 sink quartz for the sixth day, 92 sink quartz. And I think I have mapped this out to make that make sense. Yes, at 161 days, yeah. <clears throat> now, the events themselves. So sink quartz from specific events. Amazonis gives 11 sink quartz. Winter Festival, unknown, and an equivalent, 16 St. Quartz. The reason I put this in, so if you don't know, um, I can show it right here. The stuff like this, usually for stuff like this, NA doesn't get exactly that if we've already had it or it just doesn't make sense. But we will usually get an equivalent that will give us the St. Quartz that we usually miss from it so that there's no like missing St. Quartz, so to say. Um, so with that in mind, <laughs> I put down, there's 16 from there. I'm getting 19, 16 St. Quartz from that. For Valentine's Day 2022, that's 6 St. Quartz. For the Ion Spring Breeze, which is the boy uh, celebration, the what is the first ever, I think, boy side, they get their own event tailored around it, uh, 7 St. Quartz. For the Absolute Demon Replacement, let me quickly show that off just so you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> This, we already had this, I think, so we're not getting it again, so chances are we will get something to replace it. Um, but the equivalent of that is basically 12 sync quartz, so we'll get that from somewhere. For clearing Atlantis early, you get 10 sync quartz. Uh, for 1,700 days, uh, you get 10 sync quartz. From the APOC uh, rerun with the Apocrypha, it's 6 sync quartz. From... Olympus itself, 26 sync quartz from the main quest and 11 from the free quest. From the 17 million downloads, 30 uh, sync quartz from finishing the goal. And then there's uh, an additional 20 sync quartz from various stuff. Twitter follower campaign, which I assume we will get a version of that for our side, will give us 10 sync quartz. For the Gudaguda final Hinoji, 
three sync quartz, and I had to actually double check with a friend because I said, surely there wasn't only three sync quartz in this fucking event. And then he replied with, that's actually more than we got originally for this event because originally this event gave zero sync quartz. And I said, what in the name of hell? Okay. For Fate Requiem, we have the pre-release. That's 12 sync quartz. For the Fate Requiem event itself, it's another 12 sync quartz. Now here's where the timeline gets a little screwy. If the Vegas rerun happens first, which is what always happens on the Japan side, that would be 22 sand quartz, and then for 1,800 days, that's an additional 10 sand quartz. But stop the count, you see, at this point I realized the Japanese anniversary is a full month ahead of NA, so theirs happens in August, Us, ours happens in um, July. That's a big, <laughs> it's a big difference between us. Um... That means there's a bit of timey-wimey nonsense going on. Basically, I don't know if they will do comma uh, rerun first and save summer for after anniversary like they do every year. Big factor is of this is that this is the start of the pandemic for Japan. So there's a lot of dead air. There's a chance for NA to get events out of order due to this. So yeah, the pandemic has been going long enough to where it's we're getting closer to the parts where I actually think it was closer to the end. I, it's oh my god, time is the last two years have been... Okay, let's get into not let's not get into this. Either way, it starts starts to getting affected, and how does it get affected? Well, this is all that's here in June. It's all that's here in June. Now you see, this is what happens in um, JP is that they would get their Vegas event first, but um, if we go check over on the North American side real quick, you'll see what I'm talking about, which is specifically every year usually without fail we get the summer rerun first and uh, we get the summer we get summer rerun first and then it leads into what no this is the actual event i'm stupid right here <clears throat> july so here anniversary hits and then it's summer rerun anniversary hits Summer rerun. Anniversary hits. Summer rerun. And I am expecting the exact same thing for here. So because of that, that means that stuff gets kind of thrown out of loop. So that means that they would, chances are, save this for later. And it would not be now. So that would mean that instead, Idiokio returns first. Or maybe even Seraph the main interlude. I actually didn't factor any of the main interlude stuff because I was so positive that they would return Kama first before her. So with that assumption, and again, this is another big factor in this, and because it's the pandemic year, I don't know how much stuff will be moved around and what difference is in our timeline is going to be, especially now we've been getting stuff earlier, so it's actually very hard to tell when, like, we've gone in some, last year we got some pretty specific to us only campaigns that Japan did not get. I'm wondering if they're going to do the same. And in which case, that's just an unknown unknown, which I will go into a little bit later. But anyway, the Yukio gives 14 sync quartz. So in total, I will get 234 sync quartz if Vegas is rerun, but if not, 226 sync quartz, because if Kama is rerun early and Vegas is saved. So I basically factored it in. So all good. Now tickets from events so the questionnaire that we're going to get pretty soon four tickets for valentine's day 2022 it's an additional five tickets for the 60 million downloads that's 10 tickets from the boy sale which is the one where we get the free boy sync uh craft essence six tickets from there the apac rerun gives us an additional five tickets 17 million gives us 10 tickets and the fate requiem collab gives us one ticket for a total of 41 tickets so unknown unknowns this is St. Quartz that is varied for me, but basically I expect this much. So these are St. Quartz that I just don't know fully if I'm going to get this because it factors on me having certain units or not. Um, so St. Quartz from Strengthening, I expect at least 30 before the anniversary. And from Interludes, 10. And the reason is that I'm also factoring in that I have not finished all my Strengthenings. So I have actually much more than I would think. So 30 here, 10 from Interludes. I think that makes sense. Actually, might be undercutting it a little, but it's fine. <clears throat> the anniversary day, because on an anniversary itself, we get St. Quartz and tickets. For the retweet campaign, 90 St. Quartz. 
for 1046 cent quartz for various uh for i think finishing the, all the main interest story stuff it's 149 cent quartz from new extra missions it's 150 cent quartz uh so the full cent quartz amount from the anniversary is 389 and then tickets from login day is on the seventh day we get 10 uh three from quest and then 10 from the da vinci shop and then one for the castoria uh, story fight so that's 24 tickets in total but if you move over these 10 login tickets you could say 14 because it, it's a week later but whatever so final total 30 quarts for a 50 day login 90 cent quarts fragments from doing weeklies 92 cent quarts 234 cent quarts if vegas is rerun uh, 226 sync quartz if com is rerun done early. Sync quotes from Sanctioning 30. 10 from the interlude. Full sync quartz from Anniversary is 389. Add that all together and we have 845 sync quartz to work with. 28 multis and one single, but in an alternate timeline, we have 837 sync quartz with 27 multis and one single. And for tickets, we got 24 plus 41, 65, 6 multis and 5 singles. Now, so that would mean in total, we would have... <laughs> around i can't believe i didn't do this beforehand i'll just do it i'll throw it up real quick i'm very bad with numbers so i have to always double check on a lot of things so we would have 33 multis in general and on the jp side of the game 30 is enough to get a pity but i don't i don't uh we don't have that and we're not getting it early so it just felt right to mention at this point i could say hey if i absolutely did absolutely no saving if i basically saved everything i could in theory get a pity in theory in theory anyway because now here's the part where a lot of people will usually overlook and this is the part where we're also going to have to map out because how do I plan the summon? Because there's actually banners coming out that I would potentially want to summon for. Now, usually this was the case. This was a huge case for when it was uh, Quetz because there was so many good units coming out. But actually, it's a little bit different this year because I feel like this year is a little bit more calm. So let's start here. Starting with Amazonas, I'm not. I didn't summon at all, so that's a zero on that one. <clears throat> there's no banner for this. No banner for this. I think Interlude Campaign has. Um, let me see. Summoning campaign. So just to mark it down, it has Bradamante and it has Horseman. Let's put it down. Interlude campaign. Not really feeling it. Zero multi. Zero. Zero summons. Okay. That's marked down. Very fair, I feel. Okay. Next... We got Valentine's Day. Mm, this one's actually pretty tricky. Because I think... Let me look at it. Because honestly, when I get a better look at her, let me see just 100% on it. I really like Sai. Uh, the thing is, is that she gets a 4 in Summer that is easier to summon. And depending on what kind of unit she is, I think she is a AoE. Or is she... Increased damage against enemy servants with neutral. She is a... Why is it not showing me what fucking type of no phantasm? For one turn, increase on damage against enemy servants for one turn. Deals damage to all enemies, so deal all to quick. Mmm. 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 I do kind of want her, but at the same time, do I need her? Not really. Because, again, Castoria is coming up, so in theory, if I have Castoria. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily need... I have my quicks basically saved up, which is Dante's, really. And the, at the end of the day, it's mostly Dante's. And if I did want to use a Archer quick, I do have Atlanta. So... Ah, but this is an event itself, right? Let me... That's also an important factor. Let me go back. It's actually easier on the wiki to do this because of the weird way they save stuff. So let me see. Because this might be a big factor. Yeah, this is always a huge factor for me, to be honest. You know what? I'm going to put it up. I'm going to do... Made my decision. For say... Three... Multis. Okay. And if I get them early, I stop. Basically, that's what my feeling is on this one. But it is on this one. Next, 
19 million download campaign, which is of course has Erish in it. I love me some Erish, but unfortunately I don't use Buster and I won't be using Buster for another year when the Buster support that I like is actually being released. So we're going to put up for Erish zero. That's just the way it is for me. This is why I say this is my process basically is I'm looking and saying like I have to set a limit for me or otherwise I'm not going to make it to what I want. This is all pretty easy. Aeon Spring Breeze. This is the, I believe, the one that has uh, Odysseus on it. Yeah, it does have Odysseus, so. Mm, the fact that this has... I really don't like Odysseus as the thing. Oh, man. Let me see. Let me look at Invincibility 2 hits, Pierce Invincibility. I actually don't like these CEs either, to be honest. This helps with those drops, but let me see event shop. Is there anything in the event shop? Grand total, okay. Mm, I don't think... Yeah, this looks like a very basic kind of like... Mechanics, let me see. Okay, basically very male focused, but okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything where it feels like I have to summon on this one, so I'm gonna throw up a big ol... Odysseus Zero. It's just nothing for me. Nothing really happening, and I really don't like that Odysseus design. Which is a shame because I really like that character. Um, <laughs> the, that character from everyone's favorite uh, Greek mythology. Apoc, I think, pretty sure has nothing. It has Mo. And it has. Yeah, and I already got. Yeah, no. Let me just put up a big ol' no for Mo. APOC to zero again. So you can see this is actually much easier than it was previous year because the main problem here is that a lot of the thing that kind of breaks down is actually um, summer itself, which I think I will factor in summer when I'm doing my things. Ah, oh, man, this one's tough. The Oblipus Summon Campaign. This dude's really good. Rhymeless Quirinus. Mmm. I'm gonna throw up a a Roma. Roma gets two. I feel like three is the sweet spot for me, but I'm gonna give him a two, just because I don't know. I feel like two feels about right. I really don't like summoning on banners that don't have. Um, I don't like summoning on banners that don't have. What's the word I'm looking for? Event CEs, because I think they are a waste for your time 20 million download campaign i already have my summer version of her so musashi 20 million which uh, i'm just gonna put down musashi which is we don't get 20 million but our equivalent of 20 million which i believe is uh 18 million so that's big old zero multi from that as well next let's see what we got next now one to me Oh, final Honji. So, Gouda. Gouda. Zero. Just to let it know. I already have everything that I would want, and I don't want to try for um, Mama Nobu at any point. Apoc. This one is actually not Apoc. <laughs> the board game Apoc is Fate Requiem. Um, I actually would like Voyager or the Dinosaur. I think that's cool. So, for... Requiem. I'm gonna put three multi, maybe four if dumb, because sometimes I have bad impulse control, so I'm gonna give myself a limiting factor of four. All right, next. We're getting very close. Las Vegas, this one's easy. Vegas, zero. I have all S R's slash SSR, but Okita. Not about to risk it for the biscuit for Okita. Not when I'm so close to Castoria. And I think Interlude Campaign has one as well, but I think it's like. Yeah, no, Holmes and Rain. Actually, Rainez would be very. Mm. No, if I'm going to summon for Rainez, I'm going to summon when she's closer to the rerun. Yeah, actually, no, that makes sense, because I should save it so. Because she shows up um, in case files right here. 
So if we're, honestly, in two years from now, I wouldn't mind because I'm not going to use her now. To be honest, I'm not. I know me, so I'm just going to wait for that. Have a good time. So, but just to let it be known, interlude again. Zero. Okay. And now we hit July. And this is anniversary. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. We hit anniversary. Now, let's count up how much, in theory, I would be spending. So, we got... We got... Okay, so basically, Sai gets three. Plus the two from Roma. Plus, um, let's give it four for Requiem. For now. That is nine multis out of for this timeline. Let's assume that it's the comma one, so I have less things to deal with actually. So I have 27 multis out of 27 multi. So that would mean I have now. 18. Now, here's the tough part. Um, it's summer. <laughs> yeah, summer. This is a good ass year. Th this one I actually would like. Oh, this one. I really want Kiara. So, for the sake of that, we have to assume that, okay, if I'm going to have anything left over. Actually, this I can make this into. 20, 18, but then give it plus 2 because of GSSR, and I need to get that 15 sync quartz, so I'll end up picking up two over multi. So I have 20 multis. So that means I will do, in theory, 10 for Castoria, 10 for Summer. And here's the thing. The reason I'm giving myself a limit for 10 for Castoria right now is because I'm picking up Tamamo. And Tamamo is basically my one falling grace. If I cannot... If I cannot pull Castoria, then I will have a backup so I can still run arts. So Castoria can be run with Tamamo because she's broken as hell. You don't need to... You actually don't need two Castorias for most things. Especially when it comes to grinding. Um, it's nice to have them, for sure. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's actually broken as hell if you have two. Um, but is it 100% necessary? No. If anything, you're just kind of flexing. Here it is. So here is where I would get Tamamo. And Tamamo, she will do me fine. Because she has this. And then later on, she gets this. No, I think she has that now, actually, doesn't she? Either way. And then if I do get her, then I get some uh, strength, some more St. Quartz from that as well. Because of all the buffs she's received. So, let me see. This is an interlude, so that's one St. Quartz. I think this is a strengthening, so that's three St. Quartz. Interlude, four St. Quartz. Okay. Not bad. Oh, God. I accidentally clicked. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm ending it on here. That's kind of how it's looking. And for the rest of the year, because I may as well look at the rest of the year real quick. I really don't think there's anything after summer. Like, I already have my Skahawk rerun. I would really like this Gude Gude girl. I think she's fun. I like her. She's Buster related. Buster won't be useful for me for another year. So there's that as well. Himiko. Himiko's cool. Um, I like Himiko. Oh, this one. This one actually would be kind of rough, but I have to figure out this one on my own because this one has Nemo and Van Gogh in it. I would like either one of them, to be honest. And this one has, um, uh, I was about to call her Italian Quetz, but that's not exactly right. It has, um, where is the summoning? There she is. Uh, Indian uh, Quetz, Vietra, who I kind of like the look of because she's basically Quetz. But yeah, after that, it's like, November. Oh, wait, no, there is one. Where is she? Is she... I think this is the next big one for me. Yeah, here she is, actually. Her. 
I want her. I want a Buki Doji. Not that one. Yes. Let's go. Buster. And Buster's not. I actually don't know if she can be run on Buster very well. I can actually see. Charges on MP. Yes, she can. She has 50%. So that means yes. And for a lot of other people, by the way, the big, <laughs> the big actual next saving point is... Are you, you piece of shit? Him. So. But for now, that's pretty good for me. I mean that I think that this summing for me is gonna be pretty easy. Again, there's some unknown unknowns that I don't know that I could potentially lose some sync boards and gain some in some instances. It's gonna all kinda depend. But I'm pretty satisfied with this. And then I think my next big saving is of course a buki, and then after I get a after I either fail to get a buki or get a buki. I will make some more decisions about what to save for next, and I think the obvious save point for me next, in terms of personal caring, is the next year. <laughs> is the next year where it's a, uh, yeah, so it's a big one. So, but there's also some other factors in that one. Like, for example, do I really want to try and get um, for anniversary right here? Do I really want to try her? This is a, a rough fucking year, by the way, because this is also a year that has Morgan and stuff like that. This is the, the decision I have to make, which is, I think what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to skip Koyanoski's initial banner, summon when she has pity. That's what I think I'm going to do, and the way I'm going to do that is checking out some stuff and seeing what I can do. <laughs> But that's basically what my current idea is, is that if I save 900 for this exact moment, then I'll be good in, for um, uh, Buster. Because it's really not that long of a wait. It's like, what, one, two, three, four, uh, like around five-ish months. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, to be honest. And I think there is also some other stuff in between her. I think this is also the year that has for summer... Yeah, this is a pretty rough summer one. It would be, in general, pretty tough to summon, to be honest. I think Pity actually gets introduced for New Year's, that's right. Right here. For right here, so. And then I have to also make up my decision if I'm going to be doing that, if whether or not I want to save up for this Kainasuke of Darkness. Hmm. It's a, it's a tough question you ask me but I think I'm gonna start thinking about it a little bit more because that's the way I want to play if I'm gonna guarantee the units I want then I have to start cutting specific fives that I necessarily don't want but I not that I need or that I just want because it's my own selfish desires but anyway that's the end of the video everyone I hope you enjoyed it it's almost 30 minutes long so if you made it all the way to the end please remember to leave a like it helps me a whole bunch comment down below Tell me how you plan to save, how your specific things are same. Have your saving plans have been altered at all due to the pity system, or are you some one of the? Are you one of those people who have decided to just continue to play as if it doesn't exist because you just can't see yourself not summoning? Which is fair. I think it's very fair. I think it's very fair to say that in a game built around summoning, that you want to summon, and you don't have to act like me. I don't ever claim that this is the right way to play. By the way, play the way you want. Till next time, everyone. Have a good night. And have a good day. Peace out.